G'day, James Cullen from Stones Corner Marine, and today I just want to touch on the importance of flushing your outboard after use in salt water. Uh, it doesn't matter what colour outboard you have, uh, all brands can suffer the same consequences if you don't flush your outboard properly. Uh, today I just want to give you an insight uh, and a look internally to an outboard that's suffering uh, from lack of flushing or lack of proper flushing. Um, an outboard motor uh, cools through water flow through the engine and that water flow is supplied from the water pump in the lower unit up through a, uh, a water tube uh, and into the, the block of the engine. In that block, the water runs around a series of water galleries and those galleries can be likened to uh, veins and arteries in the body um, and the blockages that we um, find from salt, corrosion and sand are no different to that of uh, cholesterol. Okay, what we find here is if you do not flush your outboard as per your manufacturer's specification, you will over time get a build up um, of residual salt and that salt will crystallise uh, in these galleries and being pressed against the uh, alloy um, structure of the head uh, will slowly corrode and pit uh, and, and that, that will crystallise. Um, over time this builds up and up and up until the water gallery is completely blocked. I'll give you a, a bit of a look here. You'll see this head here. We've got a, a complete blockage uh, of salt uh, and corrosion in this part of the, the head, which is stopping water flow around that top piston. You'll also see around this anode here, um, uh, uh, quite a bit of salt. You know, as you can see, there's quite a bit, and that all needs cleaning out for this engine to have the proper water flow uh, to keep it cool. This, believe it or not, is the good side uh, of, of this, this outboard. You'll see here, if you take a closer look, that the head is completely blocked. This is fully blocked right the way up here. Full blockage there. Lots of lots of salt just sitting in there. Down here you'll notice more blockages, more blockages. And even down here you can see that over recent times there's been quite a bit of sand. Uh, so this client has, um, throughout its operation, uh, not only not flushed his engine correctly, um, but also run the shallows and pump quite a lot of sand up uh, into the outboard. The problem with all of this is this doesn't allow water to flow through the head, which causes the engine to overheat. Ultimate um, consequence of overheating engine is engine failure. Um, fortunately for this bloke, believe it or not, uh, the compressions are still good. There's no scoring or marks on the bores uh, and this engine will run again. Um, what we need to do here is obviously clean all that out uh, as best we can. We need to replace the, the gaskets and that's not only on the head. Uh, we also do the side plate inner and outer as well. We also lift the block, uh, do the base gasket. We do the thermostat, replace the thermostat and we do a water pump kit. That's all great, but it comes at a cost that is avoidable providing you're flushing your outboard properly. Uh, in accordance with most manufacturers, um, their recommendation is usually a 15 minute flush. Yep, that's 15 minutes. I have customers every day talk to me about how thorough they flush their outboard, and they talk about, I flush my outboard for five minutes, James. Well, I'm telling you now, five minutes isn't long enough. Yamaha recommend 15, and I'm sure most other manufacturers out there too also uh, recommend a, a flushing process of 15 minutes. If you cheat your outboard and cheat your flushing system, it will cost you extra money in years to come. Um, also, considering this, when looking at buying a second-hand outboard, be sure to run that outboard and just check its temperature. You don't want to buy an outboard that has this product uh, problem, sorry, because if it has this problem, it's going to cost you uh, money immediately to be reliable on the water. Um, if in doubt, um, next time you're in for service, uh, get the technicians at the dealership you service, and let's hope that's mine. Get them to check the temperature of the outboard. Uh, with the thermo laser guns uh, and check the temperature um, and let's hope that uh, through better flushing uh, you don't have the problem that this outboard has experienced. Thanks for watching.